Good morning students. Today we are going to do the second part of entrepreneurial skills. In our previous class we had done what are the different types of businesses, what are the features of business and who is an entrepreneur and what are the qualities that an entrepreneur possesses. Today we are going to continue with the same entrepreneurial skills and we are going to learn what is entrepreneurship development. Let us now understand what are what is entrepreneurial skill development. Entrepreneurial development is a process of strengthening the skills and knowledge of existing or budding entrepreneurs. So whoever are the new or budding or existing entrepreneurs, the skill or of making developing their, their skills is the process of entrepreneurial development. Now, it means providing the structure, training and institutional building programs to empower them to run their business effectively and efficiently. So, an, if, uh, an entrepreneurial skill development means developing all the skills necessary for a new entrepreneur or an existing entrepreneur to run his business very effectively and very efficiently to earn profits and make that business very successful. Some of the objectives of entrepreneurial management are to assist these uh, entrepreneurs to undergo the process of entrepreneurship. See, entrepreneurship is a, actually a complete process of starting the business and getting it to a successful position. So, assisting an entrepreneur is the most important objective of this type of management. Handholding budding entrepreneurs to recognize and design unique business opportunities. See, nowadays, lots of new budding entrepreneurs are coming up who come up with very, very innovative ideas which are completely new to the market. So, hold hand-holding uh, hand these entrepreneurs and helping them to design unique business opportunities is a very important objective of entrepreneurial management. Next is providing financial assistance, infrastructural assistance and all the assistance needed for them to start the business or run the business effectively. So, this is a very important objective of entrepreneurial management that is providing the necessary assistance to these entrepreneurs. Training the entrepreneurs to develop new skills and knowledge for running the business is another important aspect that is training the entrepreneur. The entrepreneur sometimes needs to be trained in gaining the required entrepreneurial skills. So, this is also another important objective of entrepreneurial management. Developing motivational needs. Sometimes the entrepreneurs need to be motivated to manage the new business. They may get at times they may need that real motivation or, or encouragement to start the business and to run the business. So, giving support to the entrepreneurs to make their business plan grow effectively is another important objective of entrepreneurial management that is motivating and supporting these entrepreneurs. Now let us understand what are the different phases of entrepreneurial development. That is an entrepreneur does or an entrepreneurship business does not just start from uh, just comes up in one point. It has to go follow a slowly phase by phase uh, development. So let us look at the phase by phase development of an entrepreneur. The first phase is called as the stimulatory phase. In this phase involves generating interest and awareness among potential entrepreneurs. It includes activities which stimulates an individual's needs, interest and motivations to bring on being an entrepreneur. So, sometimes you need to uh, stimulate or generate an interest in people to start an entrepreneurship. You may know, get the idea, they may have a good uh, business opportunity in front of them, but they may not know what to do with it. So, developing an interest or stimulating an interest in a person who can become a, an entrepreneur is the first phase which is called as the simulatory stage or phase. Next is the support phase. In this phase is all about supporting this new venture in the establishment like monitoring it, incubating it, financing, advertising. All these are the support phases. Now this support phase is the most important phase because it is at this time of the uh, development of that entrepreneurship that the most important uh, uh, factors come into play. So what are the support phases? Let us have a look at it. First is designing the right business model for that particular business. Developing product prototypes. That is, suppose you want to uh, develop a new product. 
something new which is coming into the market you have to develop prototypes so helping in developing that arranging for finances land uh, power shared offering management consultancy services marketing services all these guiding in selecting the plant and machinery getting the necessary approvals for starting the business all these are the support phases so so these are a, this is a very important phase because it is at this stage that the actual business takes the the actual business idea takes the form of a new business so all these are a very important part of support phase and the next phase or the last phase is the sustenance phase in this phase entrepreneurs development is focused on helping the entrepreneurs to grow the established business so once this business is established and once it has started performing the next one would be the sustenance phase where you are helping it to grow under the sustenance phase uh, the continuous and efficient functioning of this particular already existing uh, business or its expansion getting additional finance uh, doing more uh, research and development for uh, bringing up new products or helping the basic enterprise to survive and grow all these part all these uh, uh, functions come under the uh, sustenance phase that is it helps the business to sustain and get, develop and grow into a better organization we will now look into what are the roles or what is the role or impact of entrepreneurship on a society or basically what are the rewards of entrepreneurship first is that it accelerates economic growth that the more the number of new entrepreneurs and the more new businesses are set up it accelerates or improves our economic growth of the country second is it fosters creativity all the new and budding entrepreneurs have come up with more and more innovative and new methods of creating products and services and this helps to create or uh, foster the creativity of such entrepreneurs it stimulates innovation and efficiency it creates job opportunities and employment opportunities as and when more and more entrepreneurs start up new businesses it employs a lot many people and this helps in creating more job opportunities for the in the society it helps it thus in this way it helps to solve the problems of the society when more employment is generated people get more income and there is more spending and because of that it improves the condition and basically the overall balanced regional development like for example the what is the meaning of balanced regional development it means that sometimes entrepreneurs set up their new businesses in uh, in smaller towns or smaller villages and this helps in developing the entire village or the entire town uh, or slowly the towns and uh, villages also start developing they start getting more and more infrastructure they start getting phone lines they start getting mobile services and many things like this and these type of activities help in enhancing the growth or the overall economic growth and regional development of the society so some of the rewards of entrepreneurship are first it it helps in creation of an organization entrepreneurship results in creation of an organization when entrepreneurs they assemble coordinate physical human and financial resources and direct them towards achieving an objective then they are manager through their managerial skills they start creating a organization and this organization over time it increases grows in size and helps in development of the society so this is one major reward of an entrepreneurship the next is development of managerial capabilities identifying and developing managerial capabilities of individuals is a an very important reason why what or reward, reward for an entrepreneur an entrepreneur studies a problem he identifies what are the alternatives what are the he compares the different costs benefits implications of all the different alternatives and then he chooses the best alternative for his entrepreneur ship uh, venture so this way he develops his managerial skills next is improve standard of living by creating products organizations and entrepreneurs help in making a wide variety of goods and services as a result of it higher standard of living of the people is possible so as and when newer products newer services come into the market because of these entrepreneurs or budding uh, businessmen then the services uh, the goods and services plenty of new products come into the market because of which it improves the standard of living of the people it overall 
uh, economic development. It improves the economic development by creating innovative ideas, maximizing output from the given resources, development of managerial skills. All these factors are essential for the economic development of the country. So, because of all these new innovative products, the, the skills, the resources that are being used, the new uh, recruitments that happen, many jobs are created, the economic condition or the economic development of the country takes place. Now, let us understand what are some of the challenges of, of these entrepreneurial development. First is a lack of continued motivation. Uh, sometimes it so happens that when an entrepreneur is not able to succeed or there are some failures or there are some setbacks into his in his organization it then there is a lack of continued motivation he no longer remains motivated to do his activity so at times such times there is a lack of continued motivation in his venture then there is a lack of formal education sometimes due to lack of formal education uh, in a particular field or understanding a particular product or market, then that also causes challenges to an entrepreneur. Next is lack of availability of funds. It may happen sometimes that the entrepreneurship uh, lands into financial trouble because of lack of investors, of lack of funds or lack of finances coming into the business. And that causes a, a setback to the organization or the business. So that is one major challenge which all entrepreneurs at some point of time or the other have to face. Next is technical knowledge. Sometimes a, an entrepreneur may have all the necessary uh, formal education and the availability of finance, yet he may not have the technical knowledge to undertake that entrepreneurship. So that is another important thing. Technical knowledge of the product or the service that he is going to start is a very important challenge that he faces. He needs to have complete knowledge or technical knowledge which he at times may not possess. Lack of managerial skills is also another important challenge. If a person or an entrepreneur does not possess the necessary managerial skills, then it can cause the entire uh, uh, venture to go into losses. Next is the availability of resources and infrastructure. Now just like finances, the necessary raw materials, the necessary infrastructure, the plant and machinery, the land, whatever resources are needed for his, for, for him to start an, a new business, that may not be available at the right time or at the right price. So this can cause, a, this is also a major challenge that he has to under, uh, undergo. Next is awareness of the various entrepreneurial skills, uh, schemes, sorry. There are many, many schemes which are available for budding entrepreneurs from the government or from private investors who will come up with a lot of schemes for uh, encouraging new entrepreneurships. But the awareness, the lack of awareness of such schemes is a very important factor. Sometimes a new entrepreneur or a budding entrepreneur would not be aware of the available schemes. The next is regulatory framework. There's in order to start a new business, there might be there are a lot of government regulations and uh, the uh, licenses and many other uh, procedures which need to be followed by an entrepreneur. And this time, this uh, bureaucracy and this red tapeism at times can cause a lot of issues or challenges for a budding entrepreneur. Next is market linkage. The linkage of an of a business to the market growth, the demand and supply of a, uh, or, or the basic general market conditions is an important factor which causes or which poses a challenge sometimes to a budding or a new or an existing entrepreneur. So these are some of the challenges that an, uh, an entrepreneurship has to face in order to succeed. So once if he is able to face all these challenges and overcome it, then he can get into a very successful business venture. So that comes to the, the uh, with that we come to the end of this unit of entrepreneurial management. I hope you have understood what are uh, what a business is, what are the features of a business, what are the what who is an entrepreneur, what are the qualities he possesses, what is the need for an entrepreneurial development, and what are the challenges that he needs to overcome in order to run a successful business. Thank you.